Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this not so lazy Sunday. It's been a hell of a 20 hours, but I'm here the moment it drops for season two, episode three of House of the Dragon. And uh, tensions are escalating. Things are escalating. Otto, Otto has been released as the hand. And it's now Sir Christian. I want it to go down in flames so badly, but as we have seen, when 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 those up top, it's the small folk that pay the price. I don't know. That's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's exhausting, and I'm here for it along with you. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. You all make this oh so much worth it. So if you are ready for the next trauma, so am I. I got the big cozy blanket. Where's my beverage? I came prepared. This time, because it's later, I got my cocktail. I just do some rum and ginger ale because I'm packing and I'm trying to get rid of what's severing the small bottles so it's fewer bottles to move. So that's what I'm drinking. What are you drinking? Please let me know. Also, please remember, full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. So, okay, let's gird our loins, y'all. <laughs> let's get to it. It was putting me to sleep because I only had three hours last night. So it was very, la, 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 la. I know I was off. I was off, but you know what I mean. Put, <laughs> Put the boundary stones back. Mm. We didn't move them. Oh, did they move themselves then? River Run, I don't remember. Is that the Aaron's? Kate, Kate Stark's family. This is our land. It's Brackenland. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Swords will be drawn. What did you say? Painkiller. What did that mean? Your false queen, Rhaenyra, is a kinslayer. Oh, that's where we're going. Aegon Targaryen is no true king. You're both craven. Little gods. Yeah, here we go. Oh, he's got a dagger? That's all he has on him is a dagger. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Oh, he's gonna dare. He's gonna dare. So well, this is a lot of, um, a lot of carnage. Can't drink out of that stream for, um, ever. <laughs> In a day. Basest. Otto Hightower would never have allowed this. The young men have taken the bit in their teeth they wish to punish, to avenge. Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. But it's easy enough. They usurped my throne. That is one answer. And he broke Christian's heart. That's his answer. Or was it when the child was beheaded? Or when Aemond killed Luke? Or when Luke took Eamon's eye, Tita now at the point where none of it will matter. When the desire to kill and burn takes hold and reason is forgotten. Rhaenyra should have been queen. She should have been queen. There may be another way. Alicent Hightower. What about her? She came to me in the hours after your Lord Father's death. She knows war is coming. There is no war so hateful to the gods as a war between kin. I do not believe she wants it. She sent a raven. I do not care to read her message. What she did is not her, but the men around her who seek bloodshed. She permitted it. Kind of true. As you permitted the murder of a little boy in his bed. And you're still wearing the cloak. Oh, I think you took a little too long to stand up. Neither, none, none, none of you are going. Where the hell did Sir Eric go? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Forgive my lateness. Important business, no doubt. You've appointed new knights? To the King's Guard, Your Grace. To replace those we lost. The last one needlessly, some might say. 
House Bracken took it upon themselves to attack the Blackwoods, who declared for the Pretender. Lord Samuel Blackwood himself is slain. Mm. Good. First blood in our name. Mm. Exactly. Harrod Hall is the key to the Riverlands. I will ride out with those I can muster here, men I know, men I trained. You need time to raise the numbers to challenge the Rivermen. Speed is my ally. I will turn the Crown land houses who declared for a But But Damon's already at River Heron Hall, correct? And you'll take Eamon and Vagar. Vagar will remain here to defend the city. Good. To war, then. Because <laughs> you know you're not going to be in the middle of it yet. I'll come too with Sunfire. Egon. Your grace. You'll need a dragon. We will be more likely to encounter one if we field one of our own. That is precisely why you must remain, brother. It's a brave thought. But we cannot risk your loss. Yet. Yet. I'm as fearsome as any of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so as sea smokes, the sea smokes just out there. Roman free. I was told you turned back from your ship to bring warning. I was not believed at first. Oh. You saved my life. So she didn't even get on the ship. Wow. You wish to be rewarded. As I would think, you would wish to reward me. What price would you set? A place at your court. For reals? I know the workings of the Red Keep and the movements of those who serve there. And that is worth more than gold to you now. I think she used to know the workings. That place has been what? Raised, rebuilt, raised and rebuilt. How many times in the last couple of weeks since uh, Viserys died? But more than that, I know the struggles of the small folk of King's Landing. They will be ruled either by you or by the usurper. And only one of you has shown yourself to be merciful. Are they always like this? Who's going to claim sea smoke? That was my question. Who's going to claim sea smoke? I've decided to send Joffrey to ward with my cousin, Lady Jane Arryn. She has pledged an army in return for a dragon, so she will have one. Aegon and Viserys will accompany him until a place of greater safety can be found. Her axes is better, actually. And storm I want you to go with them. I need like a, a board like I'm sure New Rock Stars has with everybody's writer and their dragons and who's he what's it. It's so much information. It's gonna Damon gonna take Heron Hall by himself? Just he and a dragon? And it's still all burnt out from the fire, yes. It's a nighttime, rainy scene. But we can see this time around. Thank you, lighting people. <laughs> it's appreciated. So, yeah. So, all of the Strong's line were killed in the fire. All except for, you know, Jaceres, I guess, technically. But otherwise, legitimate, legitimate Strong's were all killed. So, who's, who's mining the... Area. Halt. Oh, jeez. Halt. Halt, he said. As if that was going to... Whoa! Okay, we got some people. Who are the people? I'm claiming Aaron Hall. <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Apparently so. <laughs> okay. I, Sir Simon Strong, Castellan of Harrenhal, pledge fealty to Rhaenyra of House Targaryen, first of her name. Supper is venison with black cabbage and peas. No red currant. Sorry about that. So he only needed himself and a dragon. 
If you've not yet surmised, you are welcome here. And what of your lord, Laris Strong? Hmm? He who sits at the false court of Egon. Laris Clubfoot is no lord of mine. Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot Laris was a strong. Oh, yeah. Do you not think it's strange that his father, my nephew, Lord Lionel, perished by fire, and his son too, here in this damp place? Even in summer, we struggle to light the hearths. So, no, you will find no loyalty to Laris Strong here, my prince. Your grace. Right. King Consort. Summon your Lord Paramount so that I may treat with him myself and turn them to our cause. That would be Lord Grover Tully, but he grows frail. It's said that he can no longer speak, nor seal his bowels. Begging your pardon for the impression. His grip on his bannerman is weak. They feel they can do as they please. I will speak with him mm. nonetheless. People... Or he'll, he'll speak to the bannerman. Perhaps the presence of the crown and a dragon will sharpen minds around these parts. May I present my brother, Sir Gwen Hightower? Mayhaps, I should say. My Lord Han. How does he look older, yet the same age he was way, 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 way back when? <laughs> Sir Gwen has volunteered to accompany you into battle. Which means you now have to look after my brother <laughs> amidst this all. May the seven guide you, good night, and lead you not into shadow and death. I thank your grace for her prayers. And request that she grant her favor. That her Lord Commander may go into battle with her blessings in his heart. Here in public, sir. Here in public. Oh, the rat catchers are still hanging? They're still hanging. They have penetrated our castle walls and now the Riverlands are aflame after the Battle of the Burning Mill. There has been no word from Prince Damon, Your Grace. Then we must press what advantage we do have. And what is that? Dragons. And burn those who resist. No. If dragons begin fighting dragons, we invite our own destruction. Fear of it is in itself a weapon. You have never been so exposed. Perhaps it is time for you to think about secreting yourself somewhere safe while we remain here as a source of distraction. And he proposed to conduct the war in my absence. It would, he, yeah. It would, be would merely be a precaution. It would be treason. Yeah, what's in it for them if Rhaenyra's queen without her being a bulb? That their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, Jaehaerys the Conciliator, the wisest of Targaryen kings whose reign outlasted every other. One of those babes is your heir. Joffrey, a boy of six who knows nothing of the sea, and yet somehow... <laughs> it would displease neither Rhaenyra nor the gods. Rhaena were named heir to Driftmark. Rhaena, Lord of the Tides. Why not? Then we must hope to see our way forward in time. See our way forward. Is he proposing they have another child? That's a long time to raise an heir. So long. Go safely. I will be safe enough. Far away from any danger with only babes to nurse me. You do a great service. I still think there's danger everywhere. Danger is everywhere. Tyraxes and Stormcloud are young and vulnerable. These eggs are even more fragile. But should all come to ruin here, you will bear our hope for the future. That's a big responsibility. I feel sad about Jaehaerys. But I ought not to, I think. As people die all the time. Especially babes. Right. They're so little, so they're taken so easily. Yeah. Oh, look at her. Disassociate some more. A sight to stir the passions. Egg on the Conqueror reborn. What is your business? There are rumors that the king readies himself to fly to war. Thought he was told not to. 
Only that I think it would benefit all of us to prevent our king from being brutally slain by our enemies and his body parts scattered to beasts and his court come to ruin, would you not agree? Small imposition before you depart then, Your Grace. <laughs> oh, the night bros. Okay. <laughs> there are diver Go to your quarters. One such is that Your Grace sends his forces to battle and in his courage and wisdom flies with them. Another is that his grace was outwitted by his counselors and persuaded to fly to war with Sir Criston, so the Queen Alicent may reign in his absence, with Prince Aymond at her side. Absurd, of course. Wow, wow. Who spreads these lies? Me, sir, I do. I spread them all. So what is... Layers want. Layers, what is what does he He got rid of Otto. Lord Laris. He wants to get rid of Alicent? My father always said he had no use for a master of whisperers. I find myself wanting for one. You honor me, your grace. What are you are you just a chaos stir? Is that it? That's all he wants, is just chaos? Shall we escort you to the dragon pit, your grace? No, I shall stay behind now. I think mayhaps I shall fly another day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it does seem wise mm -hmm. on reflection. Mm -hmm. You could come out with us, my king. Sir Martin has a new squire that wants bedding in. Are you sworn to chastity now? <laughs> 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 of course, your grace. <laughs> They're sloppy. Sloppy they are. Mm. Your job is to, to defend only me. That's your sole thought. Want and wish. I've held the ground. Not your loins. Right? Right? No! <laughs> Greet each other merrily. That was the <laughs> that was the direction. Also very popular. Dornish, are you? Although it said even Dawn mourned the passing of my grandsire, is that so? Who was your grandsire? Yes, please. Is it, uh, uh, one of the Jacaruses? They call him the conciliator. King Jaharis. Shh. I'm the son of Balon the Brave. Bastard brother to Prince Damon. And the late King Viserys. Uncle to the one true queen. One true queen, he states. The He's blood of the dragon runs through these veins, and yes. He is her uncle. Demons his... A dragon seed must watch his own neck when he has no white cloaked guardsman to do it for him. So I'm going to blab about the bar. So he is... Demons... Nephew? You can tell by his hair. <laughs> yeah, because I'm their half-brother, you yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait. Thank you, half-brother. Oh. He's your nephew. Oh, you visiting the small folk? Did I, did I tell you I came here as a lad? Oh, they're making the rounds that night. Revelry is afoot. <laughs> I know, just a duty for you, my boy. <laughs> okay. No. Wow, she that is so fake. <laughs> He'd be there. <laughs> what a fine, sweet thing. <laughs> Hard luck for your squire, though. As you can see, she she's now very much occupied. <laughs> your squire is welcome to her. <laughs> One oar is as good as another. Dude. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Rhaenyra all alone in her castle with her children's toys going how the hell am I gonna get my crown my throne back she's got the crown she just needs the throne damn it 
damn, that wax seal is thick. That is a thick seal. <gasps> Our company has come back yonder. Mm. On the cold, hard ground, which is why we make for the bull. A tavern with an excellent reputation on the Rosby Road. I assure you, my nephew will not begrudge me a night of comfort. Right, he's my nephew. <laughs> if it soothes your brow, Cole, we will rendezvous. Cole. Cole. We're exposed. What? Cole? Get to the trees! Is, is Sir Gwen going out already? Oh. Well, that's handy. <laughs> Glitting off of that Valerian steel there. Or are you meant to engage, Bela? <gasps> well, don't, oh, don't. Oh, punk and girl. What exactly is your mission? Sir Kristen Cole. With some half dozen other knights, I'm sure of it. Lord Farring has reported a larger force moving northeast towards Rosby. Okay. Your Grace, we commend the Lady Baylor for her sharp eyes, but we can tarry no longer. The time for action is surely now. Cole will look to increase his numbers, and he may call upon a dragon of his own. Loose the dragon's root coal out and burn him. Can she burn coal? Can you? I have heard your arguments. And we'll consider them. When? You will have an answer by when? I bet that smells lovely. <laughs> so fresh. I can't remember if they completely restored it by the time, you know, Game of Thrones and the Lannisters have it. Speaking of, that was something I was thinking of earlier was, um, well, someone's making no, no bones about I'm trying to get in. But basically, you know, during Games of Thrones, we hear about all the other family names often, but I don't think I ever remember hearing Hightower. Which makes me wonder if Hightower gets completely decimated. Just go open the door there, demon. No one, someone was trying to get really, really hard into your room. Or trying really hard to get into your room. Always coming and going, aren't you? And I have to clean up afterwards. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, is this his conscious? Wow, what a, what a, what a, wow. And you ended up out here. I had a feeling she was somebody significant. You will die in this place. Okay. When? <laughs> I guess that's the question. What do you know of the movements of Alicent Hightower? Would you take her hostage or kill her outright? I would speak with her myself. Killing her would be easier. <laughs> if war can be averted, it is my duty to avert it. I have reason to believe she may be of the same opinion. I, I don't think Allison's in charge. She goes nowhere without many eyes watching her. Unless. Unless I send you to your death on a suicide mission? This is fraud. Speak it. Fraud. <sighs> this is fraud. It is fraud. It is. Wasn't there like a secret passage to this little prayer circle here? We still have witnesses. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I must speak with you. So why'd you pull out a blade? If I could cry out, your knights would find me. I would be taken or slain. Do not before I killed you. And then what? <laughs> oh, I have begun badly. You had all the journey to get there and you didn't think this through. <laughs> Rainies has counseled me. She said she saw in you a wish to avert the worst of what may now come. So you've come to surrender then? I have come to see if we may uncover some path towards peace. Have you now stooped so low that you will countenance the suffering and death of thousands in order that your feckless son your father father changed his mind? Oh, so you say. Mere yeah, hours before I left him, he had affirmed my right to the throne. A right he upheld steadfastly. His entire life. When was your plan first laid? Was your ambition so keen? He changed his mind, Rhaenyra. He changed his mind. I swear this to you on the memory of my mother. Mm. Was she doubting herself now? What did he say at the end? Did he speak my name? I don't remember exactly, but I know Alicent misunderstood. It was hard at times to understand. Mm hmm. But he spoke Ekon's name. Keep going. He said he was the prince that was promised to unite the realm. What? To possess Did my father use those words? He spoke to you of the Song of Ice and Fire. It's a story he once told about Egon the Conqueror. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the Conqueror. Mm-hmm. So your daddy still wanted you to be queen. <laughs> you can prevent this, Alison. Mm -mm. Her sons are off. They are off. Do not let your pride blind you. There's a bit. No mistake. It's too late, Rhaenyra. Alison. You tell me, was this episode rather sleepy? Not that I need horror and vengeance and ah and craziness all the time, but this was a sleepy episode. This is a filler. Does it feel like a filler? It'll be interesting to see if this feels like a filler when the season's done. Damon took Heron Hall rather easily. <laughs> Good thing he got there first. Question mark, question mark. But how is he going to repel I'm going to say Cole's forces. He's got work to do. And all these families claiming for whatever crown they want to prop up are just getting squashed and killed and murdered. <laughs> Rainier is off in Dragonstone, lamenting her kids, just walking circles in a room, not knowing what to do. And Aegon's out. Um... I'll just say, I want vengeance, I want blood, I'm badass, but I'm going to go party with my fellas. <laughs> That's leadership for it. Oh, uh, so I guess my question now is, what are we building to? I don't think this is going to be two seasons and we're done. So whatever's going to happen next, more war, more war is going to happen, more battles will be fought. There'll be some wins and losses on either side until we get to the end of the high towers. And then what? I've heard a little bit about who down the line takes the throne. So if they keep it the same, I kind of know who survives at least. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Nothing much more to say about this episode except for filler. You tell me. I'd be interested to know. But that's it. Yeah, episode three. 
I'm sleepy. <laughs> but thank you so much for being with me. I so appreciate it. Okay, so if you're sleepy, go to bed. If you just woke up, hi, good morning. Did you stretch today? Did you have some protein? Make sure you take your vitamins and then gonna come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.